So we've cut inch and a half strips, a bunch of them, and now we're going to sew them together to make a really long strip. Then we will go to the ironing board and make double folded fabric ties that we'll stitch down. This is just straight grain. All right, so we have one piece on our sewing machine, pretty side up. And notice how they're perpendicular. And here you have a, a, a point where they intersect and make a little angle. We're going to sew from angle to angle diagonally, and this will attach the strips on the bias. This is good because it distributes all that seam allowance bulk. And we're going to do this in a very production way. So back down to my regular 2.0 and I make sure my needle goes in right where that intersection is. And if you look at where you want to end up, your sewing machine will go there and you end up right at the intersection. And when you open it up, it's joined and it's pretty much smooth on both edges. So without breaking your thread, you're just going to take this fabric, the strip you just added, turn it pretty side up and just run it through your fingers Put it on the bed of your machine. Pick up another strap. Pretty sides together. Here's our angle, here's our angle. Your needle's there and we sew diagonally. Sometimes our thread gets caught. And I stop right there with my needle down I pick up my fabric strip and I fold, I follow it between my fingers so that I have the right side up. I pick another strap and pretty sides together. I find that angle and I just keep sewing and sewing and sewing. So when you've done all of your strips, you take it out of the machine and you cut it. All right, everything is attached, don't worry about it. We're going to trim that seam allowance down to about a quarter of an inch and then trim off the dog ears. And you know the dog ears, you just stitch right along that same edge, the width of your fabric and trim it off. And then you cut between the strings to free that. And then you just keep going down. Here's another attachment of two. Trim the seam allowance, cut the dog ears, cut it apart from its buddy. And you just keep doing that down, down, down for all of the straps, all of the strips that you've attached. And now we're going to go to the ironing board and I'll show you how to fold the edges under to make the fabric strips look like ties that we will add to our mask. I have my strip. I throw the excess down on the other end of my ironing board and I pull the strap, strip up, I fold over a little bit and press it. And then I just keep folding under a little bit as I go. It doesn't have to be exactly a quarter of an inch. In fact, it's better if you don't. Just a little bit. And then while it's still here, again, beginner, fold up the bottom edge and leave a little space in between so that there's room to fold the fabric and the bulk. Press. Press, fold, press, fold, press. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. And I'm kind of hovering and pressing, hover and press, 
hover and press. And you go all the way down to the end. And then you pull some more. And you do the same thing. All right, so now we're folding up that second edge and we get to where we've connected two pieces. And notice how that bulk in that seam allowance is distributed. It's not right on top of each other. There's a little bit here and a little bit here. That's why we did the diagonal bias attaching. So you just go along, all right? And when you get really good, hold on. When you get really good, you can fold both edges with fingers and just press as you go along. Fold it, folded edges together, put it under the machine, and you can do a 3.0, 2.0, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to stitch close to the fold of the edges. Now I'm just folding over as I go. And I'm using just that part of my presser foot. You pick the part of your presser foot that's best and just stitch this closed. This is the part that takes the longest, but it makes a really good and durable strap. And when you get really good, you can go faster. But this is where I make sure my folded edges are matching on this side so that I can stitch them. And you finish your whole strap, you fold your entire strip over, and then you've got completed ties for your mask. You would cut this into 18 inch lengths, cut four 18 inch pieces, that's enough for one mask.